hello what's up youtube photographer ronix with and actually in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how you can easily get uniform skin tones within photoshop itself so usually i do this in capture one but this is going to be focusing more on photoshop so if at all this is what you have always looked for make a point that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there so you can see this is the image before unifying or getting a uniform skin tone. You can see that we have different variations within the colors in the skin area. So I'm just going to create just a layer to show you this. Just going to come and I choose the color right here. So that I show you everything about this technique. And I show you those areas we want to unify. So you look at this image and look at these areas we have some tiny bit of yellows around here then we have some desaturated area around here then we have a little bit of more on the magenta side in this area then we have some yellows falling in this area and the hands are also having a way different color so i'm just going to delete this so you can see that when you unify the image we have a more balanced or uniform skin tone for our model here so we are going to be doing the same in just photoshop so i'm just going to delete this layer that contains or the group that contains the uniformity options or layers and we're going to go straight into this so in order to unify this we're going to be using the gradient maps within photoshop so by gradient maps we mean whereby we're going to be mapping colors that are going to fall within the mid tones the highlights and the shadows of the skin tones of the model so we are going to come to the adjustment layers right here and come and select gradient map so as soon as you select the gradient map you can see that it is going to change in color depending on what your foreground and background color were having initially so in order to do this we're just going to come and first of all we are going to turn off this so make sure you click and hide it and come and select this icon so make sure the layer mask icon is not selected make sure you select the gradient icon right here and with this you can now come and single click on this color right here so as soon as you click you can see that it's going to open up your gradient editor within your photoshop and with this window open you can see that we have this color that we had right here so with this you can now map the colors that we want for within the skin tone and we unify it so we're just going to basically use this manually by simply single clicking on this color right here so this is going to be our shadow area this is going to the, this is the mid tone and this is going to be the highlight so the left one is going to be our shadows right here the mid tones and the highlights so we're going to basically click once here and come and left click on the color option and it's going to open up the color picker tool and with this you can come and you look for an area that has a darker skin color than the rest of the image so just sample that area by simply left clicking right there and come and simply click on ok so you can see it has already mapped for us our darkest areas within the image so you can come to the highlights and do the same so single click and come to the color option and you look for the brightest area within the skin tone so we're just going to look for the brightest area we're going to sample this area right here because this looks to be more of the brightest area within the skin and come and simply click on ok then you're going to click in the middle of this gradient and it's going to make a third stop so as soon as you click there it's going to make a point for you and single click on the color option and you look for the mid-tones for the mid-tones for this image i would prefer a color that is falling just around here and that is going to be our mid-tone color and simply hit ok so we are done mapping the colors from our shadows mid-tones and the highlights that are falling within the skin tone and come and simply click on ok so after you have done this we're going to come to this option remember we had initially turned it off and make sure we come and turn it back on
so as you can see it is going to be affecting the overall image in this case i'm just going to close this briefly it is now affecting the overall image in this case so come to the blend mode and change it from normal and we're going to come down and change it to the color blend mode i know this doesn't look nice at all if at all you're looking at this right now it doesn't look nice so just going to come to the opacity and simply drop down the opacity but for this to look a little bit better we are going to come and select the white layer mask and after selecting it simply invert the layer mask by pressing ctrl or command i on the keyboard and that is going to hide the effect from affecting the overall image then we're going to come under the brushes simply right click and get the brush tool and make sure the hardness is at zero meaning it is going to be a soft round brush opacity and the flat hundred percent smoothing at zero and we're going to come to these color options or the color swatches and simply make sure that we have black and white on these color sw swatches or you can as well reset to default by clicking on these two tiny boxes so in order to switch between black and white you can use x on the keyboard so make sure white is on top meaning our white brush is going to be revealing what was hidden behind this black mask in the gradient map layer so we can now zoom into the image and using this brush we can simply come and start painting in colors or color within the skin tone using our soft round brush but remember we initially turned off most of the opacity but we're going to gradually paint this in and you can see as we are painting it is basically all it is trying to eliminate the color inconsistencies within the skin tones of our model right here so i'm just going to come and paint in those colors and you can see as we're doing this it is now un getting for us a uniform skin tone or a uniform a uniform color within the skin so we're going to do the same for the hands just look at only the first area let's say before after before after so you can now come and do the same for the hands in this case so you have to take your time while doing this because you don't want to mess up trying to paint the background and so we are basically using a white brush to paint back the color within and having a very nice and uniform skin color so we're just going to do this and come right to this area and also paint it in those areas so we are now going to look at the image before and after so this is the before let me just zoom in a little and this is the after before after and when you feel like the opacity is too much or the effect is either a little or too much you can either increase on the effect by turning up the opacity or you can as well decrease the effect in the skin tone by lowering the opacity of the effect so that is the before and after and if i told you want to take this a little bit further you can as well come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and if at all the image is looking a little bit more on the magenta or red side you can come and select the red channel and by simply playing around with the hue values in this case you can reduce on the reds within the skin tone and you can as well come to the lightness and simply play around and get your favorite or favorable skin color then with this done you can just clip this layer to only affect the skin area then also you can as well come and add some little bit of contrast to the skin tone by coming and clipping it so by clipping i mean when you clip a given layer by choosing this option or you can as well hold on the alternate option and click between both layers and that is going to show you this clipping icon right there and like i said when you're clipping you're going to be affecting only the layer below it so with these two layers you can affect only the gradient map layer that we painted within the skin tone you can come and come and add contrast to the image so right now the skin is looking very nice and even and let's look at a quick before and after for the skin tone or the even skin tone that we had to create in this case so you can see this is the image before after before and after and now the skin is now very nice and uniformly color graded and we have a uniform skin tone so this is it for this tutorial 
And if at all you have found the video helpful, make it a point that hit the like button so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing trails. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.